Transitions are an engaging way to get from clip to clip and can be an important tool to hone your style in your videos. Say you want a calming, soothing effect to your videos. Or you want to pack an action-packed punch. The way you transition can help you create exactly the type of video you want. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through how to add transitions to your videos using our browser-based online video editing software, Kapwing. We'll explore classic transitions as well as unique transitions in Kapwing's huge new transition library. Let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to do is upload your files into Kapwing. To do this, go ahead and click on the link down here in the bio. Once you're here, you can click Start Editing and you will see these options. If you're on your computer, you can drag your clips from your desktop or you can upload videos straight from a URL link, which is a really cool feature since Kapwing is browser-based and not downloadable. Once you've done that, you will see a page with all your videos laid out in your timeline. Now you can hover over the ends of each clip and click and drag the ends to trim them to be exactly the length you want them. If you need more help trimming, make sure you check out our video on trimming here. And if not, once everything is trimmed, it is time to start exploring your transitions library. To get to the transition library, go ahead and move your mouse over to the left side of your screen and you will see these tools. Go ahead and click transitions. Once you're here, you will see a full list of Kapwing's transitions. We're gonna get into a few of those specifically, but to use any of these transitions, you can hover over the squares to preview what they look like, click and drag the ones you want to use between two videos, and it will automatically apply to the touching ends of those videos. There's also a smaller list of single-sided transitions in case you want to apply a transition to just the beginning or end of a single video, but in most cases you will probably use standard transitions. All right, now let's dive deeper into some individual transitions. Kapwing just added a ton of really cool new transitions that I'm super excited to show you, but first let's start with some classic transitions. By far the most used transition you will see in video editing is the cross dissolve. Cross dissolve is a gentle transition that looks like this. It is a great one. It is really inconspicuous, but flows super easily into the next clip. I use cross dissolve all the time. Next, we have the wipe. On Kapwing, you have several choices actually of which direction you want the wipe to go, but essentially it will wipe from one side of the screen to the other like this. It gives you sort of a Star Wars or vintage movie feel. It's super simple, but super effective. But let's say you want your transitions to make a little bit more of a bold statement. Luckily, Kapwing has you covered with a ton of cool ways to go between video clips. So let's look at some of the unique transitions. The first one I really like is color distance. The footage I'm using was recorded on an old camcorder. So to me, it feels almost like it's just a glitch in the camcorder that takes us to the next clip. That is a really cool example of fitting your transitions to your footage because no two videos are going to necessarily call for the same type of transition. Speaking of glitching, next we have TV static. This one is super helpful because it's a very commonly used trope in video making when you just want to cut off what you're saying really abruptly, either for comedic effect or for Last but not least, I really like the kaleidoscope or the power kaleido. I think they're just really fun, and if you're making a sort of visual or vibey video, I think they're super cool. The biggest difference between them, I think, is the speed, but you can play around and see which one you like best. On that note, the last thing you're going to need to do is change your transition speed. To do this, all you need to do is click on your transition. It should appear as a black square with two triangles inside it and go over to the right column where it will say transition speed. It will automatically be set to default, but if you wanna customize it, you can click slow or fast to speed up or slow down your transition. And that is it. Those are all the tools you need to make your video transitions amazing in Kapoi. As a reminder, once you're done, you can export your video by clicking the green export video button in the right hand corner. You will be taken to a page like this where you will see the video process. And when that's done, you can click download file and it will download straight onto your device. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a like and let us know down in the comments below if you have any thoughts or questions or video ideas for us to make in the future. 
Make sure you are subscribed. We put out videos every week on how to level up your storytelling by creating amazing videos. Thank you for watching and happy editing.